3-2. The Indians lead it as we go to the fourth inning. Sad day in baseball. Hall of Famer Tony Gwynn passed away after a battle with cancer. He was just 54 years old. Over 3,000 career hits, a 338 lifetime batting average. Yeah. How about a 15 time All Star? What a hitter he was. And you're right, baseball loses another Hall of Famer. One of the most consistent players of all time, certainly of his generation. Time now for our Here Right Audiology Sounds of the Game. Justin Masterson actually played for Tony Gwynn in college. You know, when I played for him at San Diego State, you know, that was the thing that was beyond all compare was the fact that, okay, here's, here's pretty much the best hitter ever. And, you know, a lot of times you did it for 20 years and you get these type of guys who are really good at what they do. And sometimes there's a little arrogance that comes, which is rightfully so. But, it, but, but seeing that guy go around, I learned how to be a true professional. You know, he treated everyone the same. And he treated everyone politely, even the people who were nagging him, who I wanted to yell at in the stands or ask for autographs or whatever it may be. Uh, he was just the, the the nicest, kindest person, and that above all, you know, I, I think is is by far his best quality. Raul Abanez 0 for 1 batting here. Masterson had a chance to play for Tony Gwynn at the collegiate level. After Tony Gwynn retired from the Padres in 2001. He became the head baseball coach for San Diego State University, which is where he played collegiately. And he spent a decade there before wow. he was diagnosed with cancer. I didn't realize he managed there for 10 years. Yeah. Then he took a medical leave of absence while he underwent treatments, but he had recently signed a one-year extension at San Diego State. But a very sad day for the school and all around baseball. Swing and a miss, a full count for Raul Labanez. Tony Gwynn was one of those guys when you watched him play, kind of like Miguel Cabrera, who we get a chance to watch in the American League a lot. He had to earn every hit. He didn't beat out any infield singles. Pitch down low and a walk. He had such great hands as a hitter. You know, and he was uh, San Diego all the way. 20 years with the Padres. That's something you will not see anymore. Guys playing for 20 years with one ball club. 31, 141 hits. Eight batting titles. Reminds me a lot of Rod Carew. Yeah. Five seasons, 200 hits. That's the ultimate goal. Yeah, he was a great hitter. Used the whole field. He was a very good outfielder as well. Right fielder.